Hello Power Rangers Lightning Collection fans and welcome back to Toku Topics. Today I'm taking a look at the next and final entry from the Lightning Collection Deluxe Wave 2 assortment of the Time Force Blue Ranger and Vector Cycle. So this one is an odd choice for many reasons. So I think that this is a really cool looking set, uh, but it's just an interesting choice uh, to give a cycle to blue of Time Force. Now, when I originally leaked the existence of this thing, I said that it was going to be Time Force green with the vector cycle, uh, but that somehow, I don't really know, I still don't really know what happened with that. I trust the sources and everything I had heard that from, uh, but something along the way, this got changed to green or got changed from green to blue or it was never gonna be green or I don't know, it was very bizarre. Uh, but this was announced back during Power Week at the end of August alongside Snizzard, uh, who is his wave mate that I took a look at a couple of weeks ago. And now we finally, finally have another member of the Time Force team. So we finally have another member to join Wes, uh, who has been lonely for nearly three years. Uh, so we originally got Wes back in Wave 5 of the Lightning Collection all the way in 2020. So this was figure like, this was like, you know, only 20 figures or so into the Lightning Collection. And this is like somewhere in the 130 range of Lightning Collection figures. So it's been like well over 100 Lightning Collection figure releases since we've had another member of Time Force. And that really shows with this figure, which we'll take a look at in a second, because I definitely think that Time Force Red needs an upgrade, uh, a re-release of some kind, just to kind of, it's not the worst figure, but of course today the main focus is of Lucas here, which is also just an, an odd member of the team to pick, uh, because I don't feel like a lot of people really like Lucas, like, at all, so I mean, maybe some people do, but you know, it's just one of those weird choices here. Uh, but I am really excited to get the Vector Cycle, uh, these are some of my favorite Power Rangers looking vehicles, and I do think it's cool to get it. I just wish that this box didn't piss me off, because it does. Uh, this box is completely inaccurate. Uh, every single place you see Time Force Blue on here, it's wrong, and I don't know why. Uh, so for some particular reason, uh, so as you can see, the helmets of the Time Force Rangers, the symbol that's on their helmets is also on their chests. And the helmet is correct for Lucas in both the artwork and here, but the chest, it actually has Time Force Red's uh, symbol on the render and on the artwork. And I don't know why. The bike is also correct, so it's the helmet and the bike are correct. And I do like this artwork, I just wish it was correct. It's very, very weird. Uh, but also, as you can see, this is plastic-free packaging, so I'm very curious to see how this figure is on the inside. I do believe from every version I've seen, the figure itself has the correct symbol on the chest, which is what actually matters, of course. But still, it's very bizarre. And then on this side, which I can kind of barely fit into the frame here, we have the Power Rangers Time Force logo with Time Force Blue Ranger and Vector Cycle. And on this side, we have the artwork continued again, which I would really like if it was right. So, you know, that's one of those things where it's like, I do think that this kind of airbrush look is nice, even though I would have preferred uh, Time Whaling artwork to continue for these guys. And I definitely think it still totally could have on this side of the box. But that, what is going on there? And then on the back, we have the new plastic free kind of thing here where we have the render once again, which is still wrong. And then we have the vector cycle and everything that he comes with. So you have Lucas with the head and you have the two chrono sabers and the little blaster and swappable hands. And yes, the figure is wrong there, of course, as well. So being a plastic free packaging figure, I do want to go ahead and open it on camera just so we can see how it's packaged in there and also if everything is in there and how everything looks, especially because every figure that, because I got this on Amazon, uh, which by the way, check out the affiliate link for it in the description below, which will help out the channel if you use it to buy Lucas here. Uh, but when I got this figure in, um, it came with my Money Morphin Black from Wave 12 and my Wild Force Blue from Wave 12, both of which had damaged boxes or were missing pieces. So I'm a little terrified for how Lucas turned out here, so let's find out. Uh, also, this box is significantly heavier uh, because of the Vector Cycle, of course. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this and being the third vehicle in the Lightning Collection uh, following the Uniforce Cycle, released two years ago as an Amazon exclusive with SPD Omega, and also Wave 1 of Deluxes, which had the Galaxy Glider within Space Blue. So here we go. So we have a blue tray for this one, which makes sense. Uh, and then both things are kind of strapped in with this and of course in their baggies. So of course right here we have the Vector Cycle and in here is Time Force Blue, which I assume also has all of his accessories in that bag, because I don't see another bag. So let's go ahead and undo these little twist ties, which are, you know, not tied super crazily, at least that one wasn't, um, which I believe the only other things that use twist ties, I know the Color Swap 2-pack use them as well. So, but like, them actually being tied is not necessarily the case. They're not the most crazily tied in their things. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the cycle first, which, wow, it's tricky to not, because I don't want to damage the cardboard on these, 
because I still like to keep my lightning collection boxes, but even with the plastic free switch. So you do have a piece of tape closing the bag up, which you can only open these bags so carefully because it is going to destroy them. So. Okay, so there's gonna be some assembly. So here is the vector cycle uh, without a top half. So of course, oh, and also without the guns as well. But uh, for the most part, it looks pretty good. I really do like how it turned out the wheels and I know that there actually is a turning mechanism in there and I know that there is a kickstand which is very nice so yeah so far I really like how the vector cycle turned out uh, so let's go ahead and see how everything else turned out which I'm surprised is just seemingly in one big bag oh there goes the cycle so all right so we got that we'll put that off to the side and uh where's the tape on this one there it is Oh wow, that guy just got thrown all over the place. Okay, so let's just pull everything out. So here is the handlebars, which is painted very nicely actually. Uh, and then in here we have one of the guns, which can actually rotate, which is surprising to me. Yeah, kind of. It doesn't want to do like a full, no it does. So it can do a full rotation there. Really like that. Uh, we have another one of the guns. And then we have, here is Lucas himself, which they packaged with the civilian head on, which is definitely an interesting choice this figure feels weird like it feels everything kind of feels like it's just a weird body mold actually doesn't that kind of just look strange we'll get to that in a second uh we have his helmet so nice nice which uh mm, <laughs> looks okay there's a little bit of a little chip right there that does not form a complete like shape the little lines right there that kind of bothers me. I knew that, that was going to be a problem. Uh, we have the actual kind of dome piece for the vector cycle. Uh, then we have one saber, two sabers, a swappable hand, a blaster. Oh, I see it rattling around in there. And another swappable hand. All right, we have everything. So I'm going to go ahead and clean everything up here, and then we're going to build the vector cycle and take a look at Lucas. Okay, I got everything kind of cleaned up here. So the first thing we can do is go ahead and build the vector cycle with all the pieces that we have. So of course, first we have this piece, the actual handlebar piece, which is going to clip in right here, like that. So right there, and that actually does have a turning mechanism, so the wheel will turn when you turn that, which I think is really nice. Uh, and then we can go ahead and attach this kind of dome piece uh, kind of right there, which uh, I don't feel like it really wants to like inherently latch in necessarily. It's not like clipping in, it's just kind of kind of resting there, which I think I think it's on there like well enough. I don't think it's gonna like fall off or anything, but it doesn't feel like the most secure piece on there, which is just kind of interesting. Uh, but it doesn't look too bad. So I know some people were kind of upset about like was, was this too small or something. I don't remember exactly what the complaint was, uh, but there was a complaint. You see that? Yeah, it's not really like resting on there all the way because like I feel like I, you know, pushed this down enough to give it enough clearance to really go over it. And that time I felt like it actually clipped in a little bit better. Yeah, I guess that's good enough. Uh, and then we have the guns here, which are going to clip in, I think, right here, like this. So we have the blue symbol facing outward. So I think, if I remember correctly, the guns, are, are they always on the bikes in Time Force? It's been a while since I've seen Time Force. Uh, but there is the completed vector cycle, which is really nice. I think it has a nice, like, you know, kind of weight to it. I think that the detail is pretty good. I like the paint applications and everything like that. And uh, it's just an interesting choice for kind of our third vehicle. It's definitely our biggest one that we've had. Uh, it's also our first two-wheeled vehicle, which is very surprising uh, when you say that, but it is true because the Unifor Cycle had one wheel, the Galaxy Glider had no wheels, and this one has two. So it's actually kind of our first uh, sort of typical, I suppose, motorcycle uh, released in the Lightning Collection. So that's definitely interesting. Uh, but it's just odd to give it to Lucas of all things. I know Lucas kind of had the whole thing with like being a race car driver and everything. So like... I guess him having a vehicle 
does make sense, but it's just kind of interesting that they picked him of all characters to get the first kind of, you know, two vehicle thing, and also for it to be the blue vector cycle. I would have thought it would have been like any other vector cycle if that was what they were going to go with first, but hey, we have it. So now this figure is weird. So every time I look at it, something just looks off about it to me. Like the way that this figure kind of feels and just kind of the way it looks, because I feel like it's using some kind of new mold or something. Because I don't think it's using the same kind of mold as like Time Force Red Data. Maybe it is. Something just, I mean, it's not because it's pinless. So that is different. But I don't know if like some parts of it feel too skinny. And I think that could be kind of uh, related to the chests because the Time Force chests, the symbol should actually kind of continue onto the shoulder joints, but they don't, I guess, don't want to paint the butterfly joints in there. So they have to make it like really tiny and really shrunk onto the chest there, which I think just make it look odd. And then of course Hasbro's quality control on getting the white paint around this thing and also visors to line up on Time Force is next to non-existent. I mean, like look at the red there. It was never great. And in 2020, the figures were obviously not the best, but they've gotten better since 2020. But this definitely feels like a 2020 or 2019 Lightning Collection figure in terms of somewhat quality. Because like, look at all these like white speckles and stuff all over there, if that is even coming across. It's not terrible, and it's definitely something from a distance you're not really going to notice too much. And honestly, from a distance, I think this figure is going to look completely fine. It's just kind of looking up at, at close, it feels weird. Everything kind of feels loose and kind of just feels cheap. Uh, he does have drop down legs though, which is brand new uh, to this mold. Uh, they did paint his morpher more than they painted it on Wes. They added this black paint uh, that was not there on Wes's version of the Chrono Morpher, so that is nice. Uh, but it's just odd. The Lucas head, there's like a little chip right there on the hair. Now, of course, like yours is, you know, could definitely turn out better than mine. Uh, but here is the Lucas head sculpt as it comes out of the box. And here it is compared to Lucas himself. So, you know, I think it, I definitely do see it in there for him. I don't think it's that terrible of a likeness. Uh, we'll go ahead and swap the head. Uh, which does have the new joint uh, so as you can tell they have completely remolded this thing compared to the west version because uh, obviously that was using an older body mold uh, so this has that new kind of head joint there so we'll go ahead and attach the helmeted version which we'll see how difficult that is to attach uh, the answer is pretty and there we go we got it so that doesn't look too bad like i said i just mine it does not line up very well i just don't feel like i got the greatest uh, quality control time for his blue ranger that i possibly could have but that's it's fine i suppose for a character that i really honestly cared next to nothing about i don't particularly mind i just you know for him it's, it's one of those lightning collection completionist kind of things and also it's just to further my time force team which you know it is nice uh, to finally have another member of time force hopefully they can actually give us more members a little quicker now uh, it'd be nice to get green but then they said, like I said earlier, it'd be nice to get an upgraded version of Wes uh, that could maybe just have a little bit of better paint quality control. But then again, looking at how Lucas is here, I don't know how well that's actually going to be, you know, come across there. But also it'd be interesting if we actually do end up getting Trip or not soon, if he would, you know, I assume he would use the new body mold uh, compared to the old one. Uh, but I've also always really wanted a Quantum Ranger. And of course, you know, Jen is one of the most requested figures ever. I don't, I cannot believe they haven't done her yet for the Lightning Collection, but yeah, it's nice to finally get a second Time Force Ranger. You know, it's also nice for it to be blue, I suppose, because it is pretty common for Hasbro to do the reds and blues of like most of the teams. So there is that. But, you know, overall, it's not terrible. It's just, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Uh, we do have some swappable hands, of course, which are just, uh, you have one. Is that correct? He's supposed to have a split open hand. That's interesting. Or a holding hand. And then you get a fist. So not two fists or anything like that. Let me make sure that's 100% correct. Um... No, that's not correct. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not correct. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to have two fists, actually. What is going on with this? <laughs> what is happening with this release? No, I'm pretty sure that picture shows two fists. Does it not? Yeah, and I don't have two fists. I definitely have another splayed open hand and a blue fist. Okay, alright. So, <laughs> my, mine is, I guess, wrong uh, after all. Let's just get this done. All right, so we have Lucas there. Uh, we have the blaster, which looks fine. It looks pretty much exactly the same as the one that came out uh, with Wes back then. Uh, and then the sabers are interesting. They have redone them slightly uh, compared to Wes's version. They added some more black paint to them, uh, which I think, I think they're wrong though. I think that the symbol at the end is supposed to be reminiscent of the same kind of symbol that's on the chest and the uh, helmet. But for here, it's definitely still the arrow from Wes's. 
So there's that, but comparing it to, and I'll see how well I can actually show this off on camera. But I do believe, because yeah, that's obviously, they definitely had a lot more black paint down here, because uh, right here, which is all completely clear on Wes's versions, but they are very similar. But they are, you know, like I said, a little bit different. They can still combine at the tips there, so you can, you can still do the double bladed thing, uh, just like you were able to with Wes, so that is nice. I, I did always like that feature with them, and I do like the Chrono Sabers, uh, but they're just not 100% accurate. But, uh, yeah, so that's Lucas. So, of course, to wrap it up, though, of course, I have to try to put him onto the bike. Uh, so we'll see how easy or difficult that may be. Yeah, I mean, is he really supposed to? I mean, he's definitely supposed to have... I'm just, I'm, I'm hung up on the hand thing. <laughs> like, I don't like my Lightning Collection figures to just not be correct, you know? And with this one with the paint and everything, it's definitely, oh, that is, I am so terrible at putting figures on bikes or doing anything with figures. Why do I collect action figures? <laughs> so, <laughs> actually, they never really show him holding the, the hands, honestly. They always just kind of show him sitting on it. So, uh, this is going to be impossible. Let's cut away. Oh, I can see the comments now. I know I probably didn't get it correctly, but that was pretty next to impossible to get him to hold both those handlebars at the same time. That's not a great pose or anything like that, but... Yeah, this is not, and there goes the kickstand again. This isn't the greatest. <laughs> that wasn't, uh, you know, indicated by the rest of this review here. I, I like this release in concept, but yeah, this is a little, this is a little not good. So uh, I'm gonna kind of just wrap it up here, honestly. I hope you can get a better Time Force Blue than I was able to get. It's not the worst thing. I think the Vector Cycle does look very nice. I think the Lucas head sculpt isn't too bad. I think the overall figure is just kind of weird hopefully you get the correct accessories which like i said i mean i'm pretty confident he's supposed to have two you know f you know fists for swappable hands and i definitely got another uh split open open hand there which is not correct but <laughs> it's just kind of a mess it's hard to get him to put onto the bike perfectly. Now, I mean, I'm, you know, very incompetent when it comes to toy reviews, uh, as you've seen on many of my videos here on the channel. Uh, but, you know, especially, like, the zap combination stuff and everything like that. And maybe I'm just completely terrible at this, and that's probably the case. I am very bad at posing action figures. Uh, but it's just, I don't know, this was just very difficult. It's, it's, it was hard to get the hands, like, at the right distance to be able to hold the different handlebars. And now I can kind of see why every single picture of this guy on the bike or on the box has him standing kind of onto the bike and not actually holding the bike or riding the bike. So the bike is kind of like a big sort of just display piece thing that can't really do anything even though it does look nice. This windshield thing is always trying to pop off so you can't even see the painted details underneath there but that's just kind of the design. It's just kind of a mess. But hopefully you guys get a better one than this. Uh, hopefully Hasbro can, you know, you know, the deluxe line definitely still, you know, is kind of trying to get its feet off the ground here. It has some, you know, stuff to kind of work out. Uh, but that is going to pretty much do it for my review of the Time Force Blue Ranger with the Vector Cycle, and also wrap up my reviews of Deluxe Wave 2 from the Lightning Collection, uh, joining Snizzard, which honestly I thought was a really good figure. I really liked how Snizzard turned out, but this one, mm, not so much. So until next time, you guys can find me on Twitter at Living Ranger Key or at Lightning Fig PR, and I'll see you all later.